Hey my cyber babies, you are watching the Mother Love Show right here on our YouTube channel. This handsome fella is Johnny Greenlaw. He is an independent film director, writer, and actor. He's done everything. I know him look really cute and everything, but don't let him fool you. Him part Jamaican, cause him done 25 things on this movie. What were some of your biggest challenges on shooting Mommy's Box? Well, like you said, I wore many hats, mm -hmm. and for me, it came down to the acting part was fine. I had just acted in several plays in New York City. Mm -hmm. I felt very sharp as an actor, not a problem. Directing, fine. Writing, fine. It was the producing aspect. So I was doing a lot, you know, and it was at the end, I'd get a location and I had to make sure the location, we left it clean mm -hmm. and I wanted to make sure everyone was fed mm -hmm. and I had to, and I'm like, wait a minute, but then I have to direct the shots and then I have to step in front of the camera. So, you know, it, it, it was a lot and, and we handled it and I had an amazing crew, an amazing cast. Are you and, and, and I'm happy. freak, Johnny? Uh, no, me, don't, you, know, you took too long. I heard the uh, nanosecond. Uh, no, you're a control freak. You, yeah, maybe yeah. when it comes to my own stuff, uh -huh. you know, if I'm working out with someone else on their thing, uh -huh. I know, I know my place. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I, I think on this project, uh, I did, I did need to control a lot of it. Was it because it's your first scripted piece? I think that was part of it, but mm -hmm. I also think because you know we were working on a tight budget, mm -hmm. so I didn't have the full crew that I really needed. Um, I was also, you know, bringing in props, and I, you know, I'm like, "Where's my prop guy?" I'm like, "Oh wait, that's me." Been there, let, done let, that. You know, yeah. <laughs> Just so, went through that. Right, right. I'm so, hauling food and running lines. Right. I'm putting up tables and running lines. Right. So, I'm setting out craft service, and uh, and mother love is your turn. <laughs> your pictures up, and I'm like, "Okay, wait a minute, let yeah, me get yeah, the sweat me, off." Okay. Makeup. Where's makeup? Yeah, yeah. You are makeup. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hold on, let me do my own thing. So it, it was. Any hole, any gap, I had to fill. Right. And, and, and I had a great crew and amazing people working with us, but it just, it wasn't enough. And, and that came down to uh, money, you know. So at and, the end of the day, it comes down to money. And, you got, and let me just, as a, as a word of, to the wise, don't ever let, if you ever decide to go to the big studios, don't ever let them know you could do it for $5.58. No, 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 no. Because it they were like, well, he could CGI and yeah. he could do craft services and <laughs> we'll just give you a check over here. And, no. You know, can you do the wardrobe? I mean, I'm in there. We, I'm bringing the steamer. I'm doing wardrobe. I'm doing hair. I'm looking. Those, Those days are over. Those days are over. Listen. Done. You, but, but you like the autonomy of being an independent I do. I do like the control mm -hmm. and I do, you know, I do. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, I, I want to move on to bigger. Could you, could you give it up? Absolutely. Could you give up the control? Absolutely. And let somebody else, no, would you, which one would you prefer to do? I, I know that's kind of unfair because that's like saying, which you know, one is your favorite child? Yeah, you know, I, I was always, I've always had that producer uh, instinct in mm -hmm. me and I've always been producing uh, because if you don't produce, it's not going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I just do it. But I've really been loving directing because I, I, I love telling the story mm -hmm. visually. I love working with the actors, um, being an actor myself, training in mm -hmm. theater and all that. For me, working with the actors, directing, I, I'm focusing on directing now and uh, I'm working on another film now uh, that touches about uh, some immigration things going on here. Oh, you so, just so, really just yeah, put it out there. Look, we're going to tackle all of them. You also are a documentary film. That's right. Let's talk about that for a moment. Yeah, so I, I have a film called Finding Francis. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it was released a few years back. It's available now on uh, Amazon, iTunes, and all that. And that, that won some awards at festivals as well. And, and that dealt with a man who was uh, dying of cancer. And his last wish was to hit the streets of New York City and help people for nothing in return. And, and it ended up healing his soul. It, it was, it's a really beautiful film. And would you say that Mommy's Box is a beautiful film as well? It is. Tell people why they should come out and see this film. Well, if I, I think you should come out to see this film. First of all, it's very entertaining. I mean, the, the actors did an, a tremendous job. Uh, Carly Brooke is the lead actress in this, and she's a singer, mm -hmm. and she sings in the film. It's about a guy in the music business as well, and so okay. she's singing in the film. And so, oh, so you're showcasing everybody's everybody. talent. And you've got Bill Servino in Bill it Servino, from the Servino family. Bill uh, Servino played my brother in the film. He did a tremendous job. Paolo Coelho did the soundtrack. Uh -huh. Tremendous musician. He did original songs. Uh, he toured with Gavin DeGraw and uh, Lenny Kravitz. So, I mean, it, it's got a pedigree, the film. It's entertaining. There are life lessons in there. 
Uh, I think you'll walk away satisfied. You'll feel emotional about it. You'll want to go home and, and hug your mother. I want to go home and I wish I could go <laughs> hug, hug your mother. My, since I can't hug my mother, you hug this mother. Thank you so much, Johnny Greenlaw, for coming in and sharing your story. Go see Mommy's Box at Arena Cinema this Friday coming up. And babies, remember, no matter how big or tall, short or small, thick or thin, it matters not what skin you're in. Everybody needs some mother love now and then. Peace, babies.